In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the Monarch Settings Override, which allow you to enable or disable locations on a per post or a per page basis, overriding the global settings in the Monarch Settings dashboard. For example, I have social sidebar and inline sharing buttons enabled for all posts, but if for whatever reason I'd like to disable either of these or both of these locations that you see here on this particular post, then I can do so with the settings override option. To locate the settings override, click edit post and look for the monarch settings box. This is either going to be on the right side of your text editor or down below. So look in uh, both of those locations if you can't find it. To enable um, settings override, check the enable monarch settings override option. And then you're going to get a list of all of the locations you currently have enabled and you can either enable or disable those on this particular post. So we have sidebar and inline locations enabled, and if I would like to disable one of those, I can simply uncheck it and update. When I take a look at the post, the sidebar is gone now, and we just have the inline buttons. And I could disable those of, as well if I like to, and we can update and see that now on this post, both of the social sharing locations that we have enabled on our website have been disabled on this particular post. Now this has a lot of great uses. For example, let's say you have a website, you have various pages, your home page, your about us page, your contact page, and then you have your blog with all of your posts. Now on your posts, you'd likely, you likely um, would want to have social sharing on, enabled on all of those posts. But on your pages, on the other hand, perhaps you only want to have sharing enabled on your home page and not necessarily your contact us page. That's not a very shareable page. I don't think the buttons would be particularly useful there. They would just be distracting. So you could, if you would like, disable those, um, disable the buttons just on that page using the override settings. So in this case, you would enable social sharing. You would enable it for both the post post type and the page post type. And then you'd go into the contact page and use the override settings to disable it on that particular page. So this is a great way um, for you to enable or disable dif different locations on different pages. Now, using that same philosophy, you could also enable um, sharing locations on a particular page, even though they are disabled on a particular post type. A great example of this is social media sharing. Let's say you want to enable social media sharing, but you don't want to enable it automatically on all of your posts. You want to choose particular posts that have great images that you would like to enable social sharing on. So let's give an example of that. If you go into your uh, Monarch settings, go to Tools, Monarch Settings, and we can enable the social media um, sharing location. And on the On Media Settings, we can actually disable the post, post type. So usually it's checked, we can disable posts. So this is saying enable uh, media sharing, but don't enable it automatically for any of my posts. So right now we've enabled the location, but it's disabled by default, which means that we can go to our post, edit it, and enable media for just for just one post at a time. So in this particular case, I've used the override settings. I have enabled uh, media sharing, and so media sharing is going to be um, enabled for this post, as you can see, but it will be disabled for all of my other posts. So as you can see, you can use the Monarch override settings to e either enable or disable social locations on a per post or a per page basis.